Okay, so now we're going to do this problem. So the common stock pays dividends at the end of each year. Assume that the dividend increases using an annual effective 5% calculate the max duration. Okay, so we know that given the effective interest rate of 5%, we're going to have to multiply the max D by 5% as well. Uh, is, this is just like the previous problem that we did before. They mentioned with respect to the effective interest rate, which we, which in turn, after we when we computed a math D, we multiply it by the effective interest rate. This time, we're going to do have to do the same thing. And now they're saying a common stock pays dividends at the end of, into perpetuity, assuming that uh, dividend increases by two percent in each year. Okay, so now this is the these are the clues to know that we have to use the MACD D uh, equation of a uh, common stock which is uh, dividends over I minus G. How do I know that we need to do that? Because they not only give us the effective interest rate, but they also give us the growth rate as well. And so we don't know specifically what the dividend is, but we just assume that it's one in this case. And we do uh, 0 0.05 minus 0 0.02 so it's 0 0.03 we solve and we end up getting 33.33 .33. now again this is the macd but with respect to the interest rate which we will have to do is we're gonna have to multiply it by 0 0.05 33.33 times 0 0.05. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, one. It's always the MACD multiplied by the effective interest rate plus one. Remember that. That's always the growth rate. So 33.33 times 0 0.05, which turns out to be 34.99. So the answer is going to be 35.